The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Property index number ready for this call. This number can be found on your property tax bill, notice of proposed reassessment, or on your property deed. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. For English, press 1. Para Español, presione el 2. Aby rozmawiać w języku polskim. For general assessor's office information, such as locations and hours of operation, website address, assessment information, public records, and outreach events, press 1. For specific property information, such as assessed value, property classification, and characteristics, press 2. For specific property tax exemption information, press 3. For specific information regarding your property assessment appeal, press 4. To receive a copy of a property tax bill, correct or change your mailing information or property location, press 5. To check the status of a certificate of error, press 6. To receive a copy of a property's most current assessment notice or to speak to an agent, press 7. To repeat, if you know your 14-digit property index number, press 1. If you don't know your 14-digit property index number, or would like to speak to an agent, press 2. Please hold for the next available customer service representative. Justice Office, Charles, good afternoon. Yes, Mr. Charles, good day, sir. Um, how are you doing today? Count my blessings, how are you doing? I'm counting my blessings too, Mr. Charles. Um, it's a beautiful day. Um, I was wondering if you could answer just a general question for me, if you don't mind. Not at all. Okay. Um, let's say a piece of property is transferred in a warranty deed and trust, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, a transfer tax is paid, you know, for the county, for the state, and for the city. Um, does that property still have to be assessed and taxed? Absolutely. Okay. Because okay. you're only paying, you know, you're only taking care of a small portion of what's what's responsible for the transferring of the ownership. Uh huh. Now you're talking about property taxes. There's a value that's placed on that property, mm -hmm. and based off of the value, there's a tax amount that is to be paid based off of the land and house value together, which is and called the total assessed value. The total assessed value, okay. Right. There's a land value, which is, which, which is a number. There's a house value, that's a number. You add the two together, that's your total assessed value. Okay. The house which sits on the land, which we'll pay taxes on. Okay, so like, like let's say it's, it's a separate lot that's adjoining, <laughs> the, it, it's adjoining the house and the lot that the house sits on. Mm -hmm. um, can that <clears throat> um, that was um, not taxed or assessed, but yet it was done, you know, through a through a uh, warranty deed mm -hmm. or a warranty so deed in, tr in trust. Can it be absorbed by yeah. the other property without being taxed? What it is is that that is called an adjacent property to us, right? Which is, which, which is property class two dash forty one. So you can write that down, 2-41, adjacent property, right? It may, in fact, have a separate property index number. Probably does. Uh -huh. Where the assessment where the assessment on that will be much lower, as in way lower, than the major property that has the land and, and the house, house sitting on the land, yes. Right, and the building sitting on it. Yes, sir. But however... That property, that adjacent property, still has to be taxed and assessed. Yes, sir. Separately from yes, from just using uh, the transfer tax. Well, you know something. That's a good question. Well, yeah, because you're talking about two separate pin numbers. Right. It's not. It, it's not all encompassed into one. So, so, so. When you're doing the transferring of information, you need to include both pin numbers. 
Right, because because the adjacent was a part of the original plan. Right, and so even though you're transferring ownership from one individual to a trust, mm -hmm. um, the um, it still has to be assessed and taxed. It, it, it because because nothing, 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 nothing changes for your information okay. that it's in a trust. Taxes okay. still have to be paid on the property. Hands down, no question, done deal. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just trust. real curious, I know, because the law is so vague, yeah. you know. I mean, you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really want to confuse people, you know what I mean? Oh, tell me about it. I was born and raised in South Florida. I've lived in New York, lived in Pittsburgh, <laughs> you know, and it, but, it, but it says, you know, all the laws are almost the same, you know, for, you know, for every state and, and every mm -hmm. and every kind of every city. But it, everything goes from parcel number to property index number, you know, so it, it just, it just gets, gets so confusing. Yeah, you know that, that yeah. you have to ask these questions. You know, you know, be, be, because the trust itself. You know, because we don't want to break any laws. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, 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 right. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's go ahead and recap this. Um, what's your last name, Charles? In case we get Smith. This. Charles Smith. I'm sorry, Charles. I have to do this stuff all the time. It's uh, I'm bad with names. Okay, so um, a transfer tax is not going to negate the fact that a property still has to be assessed and taxed, even though it's done, because it is a separate real estate transaction, period. Does, yes. Period. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. And, um, and then obviously it also falls into that the property itself has to be assessed, it has, has to be taxed before, before it can be transferred um, to a trust and then absorbed by another piece of property. Well, you know, I'm not going to go as far as to say all that. You know, generally, you know, there could already be an assessment. You know, I, you know, I didn't see, you know, generally. Yes, sir. I would be more inclined to say that there's, there's already an assessment on the property. So it doesn't have to be reassessed unless now Cook County has, unlike California, when you purchase a property in California, you know, for two hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000, right? Well, you're right. taxed off. Of, you're, 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 you're taxed off of the purchase price. Right. The county, every the Cook, Cook County here, every three years, properties get reassessed, mm -hmm. depending, depending upon where the market is. Right. So, so, so if you're transferring during that reassessment year, well, yes, the value is going to change. But if you do it prior to a reassessment, well, the values or, or the assessment is what it is already. It's not going to change. I see exactly what you're saying. I see exactly what you're saying. But, but all in all, as the property itself still has to be assessed and taxed, period. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Okay. I understand completely. Well, listen, thank you, Charles. Um, you've been a great help to me today. My pleasure. And, and um, I guess if I get any more questions, I can just call and ask you. Am I correct? You may. Okay. I can. So I can call and ask for you then, Charles? Sure. Sure. Okay, Charles. Listen, God bless you. You have yourself a wonderful day. God bless you too, sir. Take care now. Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao. Go Bears. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.